Why am I to run away? Why did the civilian governor run away and refuse to come back and send her? I know be how we invite. We invite the civilian governor. He ran away. He's on the run away. Those who feel they want to support him to fight me, come out. Let's fight. Fight the civilian governor. He ran away. He's on the run away. But your, your committee grant him an administrative bill. If you refuse to come back to your committee, what will your committee do? That is why we decide to to arrest him because already he's on bail, and uh, we are not satisfied with the way he is doing, and. Uh, I want you media to tell Nigerian today, the DSS, they went to court. Some prominent people in this government went to prostrate the court and tell the court they should not allow to give DSS the detention, 60 days detention order of MFLA because the DSS has a proof. They see some accounts where MPLA is giving loan to terror terrorists. They have proof that he is funding terrorism. He gives loans to terrorists wh what whom they buy guns and terrorizing the country. So that is why they charge him they charge him as terrorism financer. And uh, yesterday I am disappointed with the Khan. I am very disappointed with the Khan yesterday. Very, very disappointed with the Khan. Because when you say Khan, Christian Association of Nigeria, these people are supposed to be on the, always supporting the common people. Because religious, if you say Islam or Christian is something religion, a religion comes with help and assist. To mankind. So how can can are trying to make this to, pol to make this thing politics? They are trying to protect the Sibian Gomu. Why? Somebody who is prostrating the economy, why there are people in the villages and the almost eighty percent of the Christians are suffering in this nation? And they are trying to protect him because of what? Because they collect loans from CBN or what? Why can a pro a, a trying to, to politi politicize this issue? It's not an issue of politics. It's an issue of economic. We are not fighting CBN Gomnu. We are not pursuing CBN Gomnu. We He didn't block anything for us. But our investigation shows that the money we are borrowing, we have money. We are borrowing government, government money. The deputy speaker tells the speaker that they should not allow me to question the deputy civilian governor because I came with my documents. Because all the questions they are questioning her, they didn't question her what is supposed to ask her about the economic of the country. The civilian they are hidden monies in different accounts, which is the money is enough to solve the nation debt local and the international to fund the budget without borrowing and to even add our foreign reserve. So that is why they're supposed to ask her that question. What is that money are? I'm sure in media you see we've released some document through the point blank. We released 29 account, account names and number where the 70 trillion is there. If somebody says that money, there is no that money. In, the money is more than 70 trillion or 80 trillion we are mentioning. But why the leadership refused to allow me to talk, to ask her a question? That is question number one.
Then question number two. If you look at the situation we are going in this country now, the, the people in the village, all of you, you have villages, you know villages. Some villages there is no network. Some villages there is no bank. Our local people that are selling fish, yam, maize, rice, animals, in the villages, they are not using bank. Some they don't have bank account. Look at the prostration is coming in the next days. I want you media to understand this, what I am saying. In the, in the next two, one month, this country, the prostration will be high. You have to er educate the government and the people. They say if a man from village come to the local government from his village with his money like 100,000 or 200,000 to change in the bank, they will not give him cash while he came with the cash. He must open account. Somebody from his from the local government to his village is almost 50 kilometers. Somebody can spend one month, two months, he never come to the local government headquarters. He is doing his business with his money. He doesn't have bank account. When he brought his money to the bank, they will not give him cash as he brought cash. He must open account and give him a, 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 a ATM card. While in his village, no network, no bank, no ATM, no POS. So how village people can do business with the cash? This is what the media is supposed to educate Nigerian people to understand. A village people, how now can you use cash? You cannot use cash and buy and selling in the village market. How are they survive? And majority of the Nigerian people are, 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 are common people. Almost 150 to 130 million people they are suffering. So I surprised this leadership they refused, allowed me to talk. I don't know why. Oh, because they have been a bit put on the CBN. I don't know. I don't know why. Which question do you really want to ask the CBN government? Let Nigerians know. I want to ask the deputy CBN governor that money hidden in different accounts in the CBN that is enough to solve the nation debt, national and international. Why they refuse to open stamp duty central account to move that money to settle the nation debt to fund our budget without borrowing? This is what I want to ask her. That money in different account hidden in the CBN. If you can see Mont, Mont, uh, point blank, they released 29 account with the names with the money of 70 trillion. Is anybody came and, and challenged them that that account number is like? So this, it means the 70 trillion is there hidden in different accounts, in different commercial banks, including the CBN, but under watch and control of the CBN. So that is why I want to ask her, why are they appear to open stamp duty central account? Secondly, why are they run away? Why did the CBN governor run away and refuse to come back and send her? I know be how we invite. at the situation when I enter the chamber today as a deputy civilian governor is here before the floor of the house I quickly came late but I rush I meet her when I raise my hand speaker intend to allow me to contribute but he seek the advice of the deputy speaker the deputy deputy speaker told him that he should not allow me to talk. 
and